Hey Capricorn, welcome to Ocean's Tarot Garden. Hey garden babes, if you're not a garden babe, all you gotta do is hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to highlight the like button because of what? A beat ain't nothing without the highlight. Amen, say man. All right, so yes, your girl is in her muumuu, her gown, her nightgown, and that is because it's nighttime over here. And I am not, look, I took a shower and put my nightgown on because after this, I'm going to bed because I got work in the morning. And I am not about to try to look good from the neck down for you guys, not tonight. You just here for this message, okay? Because I was getting ready to sit over here and read a book and watch Netflix, but Spirit was like, mm -mm, put the messages out, okay? Now, also, we got this egg over here that's going to take up all that negative energy because y'all not about to be wearing me low. No, y'all not. Y'all is not about to be wearing me low. I refuse. The devil is a lie. All right. So we're going to hop into this message and see what we have for Capricorn today. We're going to get y'all uh, angel number out of this deck right here. So let's see what we got for Capricorn. What is the angel number for Capricorn? Six. I swear, I be getting six a lot every time I do use this tip, this deck. Okay, so your angel number is going to be the number six. It says, feeling safe, wisdom keepers, and concern. All right, so we're going to put this here. I feel like, look, I don't know. I feel like you guys be to yourself. Y'all y'all be kind of in y'all own little world, Capricorns. I don't know, but I, I feel like a lot of people are drawn to you, but y'all be in y'all own little world. Like, y'all got y'all own thought system, okay? Like, I don't know. I feel like a lot of you guys could also kind of be like, people look at you like you weird, but like weird in a good way because like y'all are really smart, really intelligent, but it's just like the way y'all dress. Like y'all are different. Y'all stand out. Okay. Y'all ain't built the same is basically what I'm hearing. Okay. So I am going to look up in this book since I don't use this deck a lot, only to, I turn right to y'all, <laughs> only to use it for an angel number. Okay. So let's see. Some of the things is y'all are wisdom keepers, listening, feeling safe, coherent, emotional intelligence, deep, rational. Y'all are mentor, confident, friend, reserved, soul searching, and sensible. Okay, trial and error. Okay, so look, that's all I got for y'all. For y'all go look up the angel number number six. Okay. I feel like y'all been giving a lot to people. Y'all been letting a lot of people in y'all area as far as confiding into you, needing you, using you. And I feel like y'all are going into the bubble. Honestly, I feel like y'all are going into the bubble to try to protect your energy, okay, from these people who you feel like is just a little slow. Like, that's the best way I can say it. You feel like they're a little slow. Like... Who raised you? Like, why are you doing this? Like, you too grown to be doing what you're doing. Like, that's how I feel like you guys are looking at these people. Okay? So, let's get y'all a little message here with these moonology cards. Let's get y'all a little message. Okay? Yeah, this one's sticking out to me. Okay? It says, prosperity lies ahead. Okay? So, y'all can Ooh... Now, look, prosperity ain't got to be money, but you can have some money coming in. All right. You got some money coming in. You got some peace coming in. Okay. Something is coming in for you. Some great things. All right. That's neither here nor there. This ain't got nothing to do with your reading. That's just a couple of cards that we have for you guys. But now we're going to see what's going on with my Capricorns. All right. So we got the Eight of Swords here. I don't know why, but every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. This what's coming to my mind. So let me find out. Let me find out. <laughs> we got the five of cups. Yes, the six of cups. Somebody is missing. Like somebody can't let somebody go. Come on now. Come on now. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. Who was meant to be, who was meant for me. We gotta make it work. Like, that is how somebody is really feeling. Like, come on now. Come on now. Look, somebody's trying hard to get you back. Somebody, But the thing is, I feel like this person is secretly wanting you. Are you secretly wanting somebody? I don't know, Capricorn. You know, take it take it how, how it goes. But somebody's secretly wanting somebody, wanting that person back. They're thinking about them. They miss them. They're thinking about the good times, how this person make them feel. Okay, it is just like, man, I think you're thinking about them when you be alone. So it could be like at nighttime, you know, you be busy during the day. But it's just like, you know, when things calm down, you start thinking like, man, I wish they was around. 
like, man, I wish they was here. Man, we sure had some good times. Like, somebody is missing them. But they trying to play it cool. They trying to be like, yeah, you know, like, they trying to tame. They trying to tame that energy about missing you, okay? Or they really know that you, they really know you the one, okay? They know you a beast, okay? I don't know. I'm getting the, look, the goddess and the beast, okay? Hold on now. Yeah, hold on now. Shoot. Hold on. The goddess and the beast. I ain't mad at it. Okay, so we got this eight of swords to the ten of swords. Okay, somebody is cutting ties. Somebody is done doing something. Somebody is done feeling restricted. Okay. Um, I feel like somebody feel like they can't get to another person. Okay, and they kind of over it right now. They're yeah, kind of over it right now. Ten of swords. I feel like somebody also not seeing eye to eye with the situation here. Okay, so somebody about to make a bold ass move coming in. Something that somebody didn't see coming. Okay. We got the eight, nine, and ten of swords right here. Okay. So somebody like, you know what? I'm done just sitting around. You know, I'm done with this. You know, I ain't getting the results that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and leave. And you know what? I, I tried and I tried and I tried to stay here till we could see eye to eye and things could work out, but it's not working out. So, you know what? I'm just about to go ahead and just, you know, throw the towel in and go my own way. I need some time. Somebody needs some time for clarity. Okay. Somebody needs some time for clarity. So there could be like a breakup coming up. Okay. Um, or some kind of separation. This gives me a conversation that somebody having like a really bad conversation because somebody not seeing eye to eye. Okay. Um, Underneath the five of cups, we have the page of coins. Okay, so somebody with the knight of coins. So somebody could be coming back, like I said, with this new, somebody wanting to start fresh or start a new relationship with you. Or, I don't know. I just feel like um, something new. Okay, so you got that. Well, I don't know. Somebody could, <laughs> but somebody could be sad because they found out they pregnant. <laughs> like, I done broke up with this fool and now I'm pregnant. I don't mean to laugh, but that's just how I feel like, man, I done broke up with this fool. I heard, like, I heard that voice, like, man, I done broke up with this fool, and now I'm pregnant. Man, like, somebody pissed off. <laughs> somebody pissed off, okay? And somebody gonna wait a while before they tell them. Okay, so we got the Six of Swords with the Strength card here. Okay, so I do feel like somebody is trying to... Look, like, I told you somebody being sneaky, Somebody don't want to tell somebody about this pregnancy or whatever, or whatever they got going on. Somebody being real sneaky, okay, about some new stuff. Okay, so somebody could have had a new boo. We got a ten of swords and a page of coins, the six of swords. Okay, so somebody could have found a new boo, and they they trying to be low-key with it. Or, I don't know, I just get the vibe. Like, somebody being real low-key, Capricorn, about what they got going on with somebody. Somebody sneaking and meeting, okay. <laughs> it's something that's on the hush that's going on with Capricorn over here. Okay, because you don't want everybody in your business is what I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to see what else I'm, pu I'm pulling out these cards. This is like a lot of things that's coming in for you guys, okay? I don't know. I feel like something's about to break the surface as well. Like, y'all got some blessings that's coming in. So, somebody could be getting a new job or just finding some extra money coming in for them, Capricorn, as well. Um, all right, so somebody could be done you know, being inside or, you know, struggling and feeling like, uh, I don't know. I feel like it's more not even struggling, but I feel like somebody been at home on the computer constantly trying to fill out applications or doing something or trying to find out how they can increase their financial status or, you know, like they're trying to build something. And I feel like that's done now. Okay. I do feel like that's done. All right. So something is slowly, so something is slowly passing. Somebody's slowly moving on. Okay, uh, we got the King of Swords here. Yeah, I don't know why, but I'm hearing you old news. Okay, so something is old news. I don't know who y'all talking about, but somebody is old news. Okay, so some of you guys are also getting outside of your head. Okay, you're done 
manifesting these sad thoughts and things like that. You're done thinking about the things that, you know, that didn't work out. And now you're about to receive your blessings. Okay. You got blessings making its way to you. Okay. So some kind of struggle is over and you're, you know, you're going through a transition, a transformation in your life right now. So you have a lot of something new that's coming in. Like I said, it's new opportunities, new blessing, good messages that could be making its way to you as well. I say these good things aren't just going to happen like that. These are something that's going to take time as well. With the seven of swords, I feel like you need to take all this good stuff that's happening to you and keep it to yourself. Don't be one to share this information with everybody, Capricorn. This is just something that you need to keep in your own pocket. Yes, this is a lot of great shit and you want to share with people, but not everybody has your best interest at heart. And I feel like I tell you that all the time. That's why you got you in that bubble. Okay, <laughs> keep your shit it to yourself. Okay. All right, so we're going to get one more card, just one more card to see what we got for my Capricorns here. And it goes, you can do it, like the water boy. Yes, Archangel, Archangel Michael is looking out for you guys. Okay, you have drink more water and nurture yourself. So stay hydrated, okay? Also, it's just like keep the flow. Be like water. Adjust to your situations as well. The prosperity is definitely coming in for you guys, and I love that for you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, Capricorn, and go and tell a friend to join in.